Hello everyone and welcome to the Impact Play, impacting more than just gaming. I'm your show host and team leader, Muhammad, otherwise known as It's Yagu. We are your one-stop news show for the latest and greatest across gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, and music. Plus, we're also amplifying voices from those respective fields and having their, their stories told here on the Impact Play. I got my coffee and I am rolling and raging with energy. Mm. All right. So before we get into all that, today is uh, Women's Equality Day, when the 19th amend Amendment, which gave women the right to vote, was first introduced back in 1878. But women fought for another 40 years before it was even certified on August 26, 1920. Women across the U.S. were eligible to finally vote in the next election. Here on the Empire Play, we are celebrating Women's Equality Day, which is commemor which commemorates all the suffering that women have endured and all the work that has yet to be done for equal rights. So I figured I'd put that out before we start the show, because we are all about equality in treating one another as uh, we were to be treated. So we are an open community, and we are we welcome anyone. Alrighty, so we got that out of the way. Now I guess we'll get into the rest of this. So we are we got that okay. So you can join us when we record the show live over at Twitch.tv backslash back play and by clicking on that notification bell, so you will be notified when we go live or later on YouTube. Or even on your favorite podcast platform. It's in please search for the MMAC Play. It's all one word, folks, and is not case sensitive. But to however you consume your content, whatever you consume it, we are there. Your support keeps the lights running and keeps the content rolling. You can support us over anchor.fm backslash the MMAC Play backslash support, where tier 2 supporters and above have access to exclusive content, including the post show, getting the show ad free, and more. Or even, or you can even support us and use our Epic credit code, the Epic Play. We are Epic partners, so with every purchase you make within the Epic Store, we use that credit code. You do get a commission and a slight kickback to help support the show for the for the, the elevators. I know it should cost to you and supporting us in a brand new way. So use it when you're buying anything, Rocket League, Fortnite, Fall Guys, just anything within the Epic Store it will go a long way of supporting us here on the show. This is episode 205, and on the agenda, we have all the announcements from Gamescom 2022, and even the Destiny 2 Showcase. The PlayStation 5 is getting a price hike. I have radio and Fortnite. I have radio and Fortnite crossover. eBay is acquiring TCG player. Apple's special event. NVIDIA is getting ready to announce its next generation GPU. Corsair's latest gaming monitor, Benz. A new King Kong series is coming to Disney+. Plus. Sony is producing a Gravity Rush film. Has DC found this Kevin Feige? The 2022 WNBA playoffs. MLB is headed to South Korea. The 2022 Tour Championship. UFC 279. ESL won Malaysia 2022. J-Lo and Ben Affleck's wedding ceremony. Justin Timberlake is set to perform at the 2022 Jersey Hasbro Ga Gala. New and upcoming music from Nicki Minaj, BTS, Twice, Lil TJ, Selena Gomez, and more, plus the top stories of the week. So welcome to our very first segment to discuss what we have been enjoying, what we've been playing, and essentially what we have been up to. So let's get into it, folks. Oh, uh, Destiny 2. So I did hop into it, uh, when did I hop into it? Not yesterday. Thursday night I hopped into it, but it was, because you know how uh, every now and then when you hop into Destiny 2, it puts you immediately into a story? So it put, puts you immediately into something, puts you in a battle, what have you. This time was super hard. I gave it at least maybe two or three tries. And I was really doing damage. 
where it gets to a point where it just, you know, if you die, you know, it loads, right? But this time, you're, you go to a checkpoint where you're locked. If you die, you, you have to start all over again. I'm like, oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. It was just too much. Like, you know what? I'll get back to this later. Let me uh, d- d- double with multiverses. So, uh, for multiverses, I am getting back into the fold, which I'm doing, which I definitely like the controls on the PlayStation a lot better than, uh, than, uh, did I play it on the Xbox or did I just play it? I know I played the alpha, the first alphas on the beta on Steam. I don't know if I played it on, on, on Xbox. I'll have to load the app and see it, but I doubt it. I don't believe I, I ever did. I think Steam was the only other version that I played that I played it on. Uh, yeah, because I didn't have it downloaded, so, so, so I never played it. Uh... Full guys have been on it in a while. Uh, Apex Legends, same baloney. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've been either on Destiny 2 or on uh, playing uh, f- uh, fighting games. So a uh, good note to, to note is I'm getting back into the world of fighting games. Well, actually not getting back into it. I'm, I'm diving into it, actually. Because I've never been a fighting game fan. But now just... Hearing about Evo, everybody experiences an Evo. It, was, it definitely piqued my interest. So from there, I'm like, so I'm literally downloading all. I downloaded all, literally all my fighting games on my PlayStation. So I have uh, Street Fighter Five, uh, Multiverses, or Multiverse, whatever it's called. Uh, Brahalia, Brahala, one or the other. Uh, I played it for a bit. Uh, the controls are fairly simple, but on multiverses, the combos and the move sets, the controls is just whoa. So you know what? Let me focus on the training, the little advanced tutorials, what have you, and then I'll then I'll hop into trainings with bots, and then when I when I get to a, a, a level that I'm satisfied with myself, then I'll go ahead and play online competitive match uh, match sets. So that's a uh, fair note, fair thing to note as well. <laughs> that's funny. I was never a fan of fighting games, but yeah, <laughs> uh, cool thing to note. Uh, I did watch a couple of things, but I'll discuss all that in housekeep housekeeping. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess we'll get into it, folks. But before we do, you can sign up for your free 30 day trial immediately and get access to one credit. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get access to two credits and it's good for any premium title. Simply go to audibletrial.com backslash the impact play. Once again, that URL is audibletrial.com backslash the impact play. If you guys notice anything different about the stream with the actual life donation tracker, then you've guessed it. We are, I guess, uh, supporting our local Children's Hospital here in Atlanta, which is the Children's Hospital Network Hospital, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. And you could made possible by Extra Life, by the way. So you, you could, I know you guys go out of your way to support us here on the Impact Play. And I like that. And I like to go ahead and amplify the support and transfer that support to a notable, uh, a notable foundation and help support kids that need it the most. And you can donate as little as a dollar and it will go a long way. So you could definitely, uh, we have the links everywhere on social, on Discord, even on our, you could definitely type exclamation donate in chat, which I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I, uh, I, I updated all that. Let me check. Let's see. I'm waiting. Yep. So uh, that works. You simply type exclamation donate, or you could go down, scroll down through the our, our Twitch channel, and there's a. Let me find out exactly. 
Because I'm not on our channel every, uh, every time. Let me see. Channel. If you scroll down, the first panel is the Extra Life donation panel. You can simply click on that and click on donate. You can simply donate as much as you want. And it will, and it will go towards a notable fund. Okay, let me get rid of that. Remove. We don't need that. Remove. Perfect. All right. All right, there you go, folks. So we got that all settled, and it's even in our, uh, in our, in our about, I forgot, to, in our about pages, I guess, there's an Extra Life link there, on there, on our YouTube channel as well, so even if you don't, uh, if you're unable to join us live, you can go into our YouTube page, and it's our last link for Extra Life, and you could simply donate there, if you, if you so choose to, so you could donate on or offline, and we're going to be doing this throughout the year, and like moving forward as well. Okay. We took care of that. And speaking of Twitch, our goal, our follower goal for for now is 500 followers. And I know we can get to that level. And we can do this together as a community. So share the channel, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your loved ones about the, about us here on the Impact Play, and just help us help us get to 500 followers. And I know we can do it. And you could even, uh, and if you guys are interested, we do, we upload our bite sized clips uh, clippets, I guess you could say. Over on our TikTok channel, Instagram Reels, and via YouTube Shorts. So you can ch check that out however you you enjoy. Whichever platform you enjoy the most on. Whichever one you're comfortable with, we are there. Just search for the Impact Play. Alright. So we talked about Extra Life, talked about that. Oh yeah, forgot to talk about this. So we will be uploading uh, review casts. Uh, spoiler cast uh, over the uh, over the weekend and our tier 2 supporters and above have first dibs on that content and it will be available uh, publicly on a later date so if you guys are interested in getting that show first uh, you could simply uh, type exclamation discord or click on one of the discord links uh, on our pages, on our YouTube channel, or even our Twitch channel, it's there. The invite link is there. Join us, and all the information is, is on there for you, uh, 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 for your leisure, and, and how to, and how to be a tier two supporter or, or above. But I guess we'll get into the show, folks. We're, uh, into the into the regular show, and we're gonna start out with your gaming play. Alrighty, folks. The first one we have up is the game her, the game hers awards. The nominations are open, and today is the very last day that you can uh, go out and nominate your favorite creator, your favorite show, your favorite. Um, let's see what do we got. Uh, if uh, your industry favorite, your favorite esports coach, player, might have you, and I'll definitely share that in chat. Because if I share it in the in the notes, it's gonna be too late. So for those watching now, you can go ahead and vote now. And uh, if you want to find out about uh, by each individual category, uh, all that is available on that same link that I just shared with you folks. All right, so let's see what else we got. Mm, 
That's not what I want. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so the first one we have up, we have an official date for the Game Awards, which is Thursday, December 8th. It will be streaming live around the world from the Microsoft Theater in LA. And this is an official tweet coming from Jeff Keighley, the man himself. And speaking of Jeff Keighley, we have everything that was announced on GamesCon opening night live coming from IGN. All right, we have a roundup here. So we have a brand new IP everywhere. Uh, we got an official teaser coming from an ex uh, Rockstar developer. We got an, a Doing Awakening gets a new a new trailer. Sony did reveal as DualSense Edge for the PlayStation 5. We also did a react for that reveal as well, which is live on our YouTube channel. Which is essentially the uh, PlayStation version of the Xbox Elite controller. We have the Clayster Protocol has some got a new gameplay demo. The Lord of the Rings. Uh, the Lords of the Fallen gets an announcement trailer. Uh, Moving Out 2 was announced. Hogwarts Legacy reveal, um, got a new story trailer. We have a new Tales from the Borderlands has been officially revealed. Dying Light 2 Stay Human Expansion. Uh, we got a new trailer. And a release date of October 13th. We have Tortuga Pirate Steel got revealed. And it's in development for the PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. We have Mordas enters early access this October. Sony Sonic Frontiers got officially confirmed for November. A release date of November 8th, I should say. Under the Waves got revealed from Contact Dream and Parallel Studio. Expected sometime next year. Uh, Ghost Simulator 3, we got its first gameplay. And... Yeah. A return to Monkey Island will arrive in September. We have Subnautica developer Unknown World has announced a digital ta tabletop strategy game called Moonbreaker. Friends vs. Friends. It's a new card deck based shooter. We'll have to see how that works. Uh, Lies of P is a new souls like set in a dark bell epoch, epoch world. Opok. Uh, Stranded Alien Dawn. Um, they get revealed with a new cinema with a cinematic trailer. We have Sand is a weapon. Uh, hold on. Focus Home uh, Interactive has announced Atlas Fallen, which is a new game from Deck 13, where the player primer, where there are. Play, uh, the player's primary weapon is sand. Homeworld 3 uh, got a new gameplay trailer. Genshin Impact got a trailer that shares its first look at the Sumeru region. Uh, job a simulator VR developer unveiled a new game. Genshin Impact devs Hokai. Uh, Star Rail got a new story trailer, cinematic. High in Life trailer, we got a new uh, gameplay trailer. The Expanse gets a new trailer and a released window for summer of 2023. Killer Clones from Outer Space is becoming a multiplayer game. Mm. So Scars from Scars Above gets a new cinematic trailer. Fallout and Skyrim veteran Jeff Gardner is making a new RPG. Word Song. Age of Empire 4 
a new expansion, uh, Ottomans and Malians, was announced. Uh, Gotham Knights got a, is getting a launching earlier than expected f uh, on October 21st. Uh, War of Minds Meet, uh, let's see. I, I got a reveal trailer. Hideo Kojima is starting a podcast. Called uh, Brain Structure it will be available in English and Japanese with episode one being released September 8th. And I believe it's going to be a Spotify exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. It looks like it's going to be a Spotify exclusive. All right. Uh, we got a Park Beyond is a new amusement park sim. Uh, let's see. There is now an official Pokemon mini. Uh, Ace Mon concept car. They collaborated with uh, Carl Manufacturer Mini to bring to life an official Pikachu themed mini Ace Man. And it's apparently fully electric. Uh, let's see. Phantom Hellcat got a reveal trailer. Warhammer 40k. Dark Tide received a new trailer. Door from Montic is coming to Switch. Blacktail's latest trailer shows the good and evil of witchcraft. The Outlast Trial got a creepy new trailer. X Battlefield Dev's uh, new shooter was revealed as the finals. Dead Island 2 is uh, apparently real and just months away. Now let's see. Uh. Uh, let's see, other releases that rot are um, the other days of Gamescom. I guess the top news, we have uh, High in Life got an exclusive gameplay trailer. Uh, let's see, One Piece Odyssey. Seifu got exclusive gameplay. Uh, let's see, Day 5. So apparently we have two days left. We have the Gamescon award show that's happening later on today at 9 a.m. 9 Eastern later on today as this recording. And the last day, which is the cosplay contest, which is Sunday, August 28th, which is beginning again at 9 a.m. Eastern to wrap up uh, Gamescom 2022. All right. Uh, let's see. And we're going to get into this... Uh, uh, PlayStation Block article that further explains the DualSense Edge, the, wireless, the new wireless controller. For the PlayStation 5 is the first ever high-performance, ultra-customizable controller developed by Sony Interactive Entertainment, designed to give you an edge in gameplay by allowing you to create custom controls. The DualSense Edge wireless controller invites you to craft your own unique gaming experience tailored to your playstyle. Uh, ultra-customizable controls, by remapping or deactivating specific buttons, input, and fine-tuning your aim by adjusting six sensitivity and dead zones. In addition, each trigger is adjustable with options to tailor travel distance and dead zones to your performance. Uh, you, you have the ability to save multiple controller profiles. Uh, on controller your user interface, a dedicated FN button, uh, changeable stick pads and back buttons, replaceable stick modules, built-in DualSense control, Wireless control feature. All right. And speaking of PlayStation, the PlayStation VR two has an uh, has a release window of early twenty twenty three. So we could expect it sometime in the first half of twenty twenty three. We'll have to wait and see. 
Speaking of PlayStation, PlayStation got a price hike. It's getting a price hike, I should say. Across various regions, citing quote-unquote global economic challenges and adverse currency trends as the primary reason. Even though Microsoft and Nintendo have stated that they're not increasing the prices on their devices regardless of region. So we have uh, Europe is getting a price hike of 49.99 euros. Uh, UK is um, literally every country is getting about a $50 price inc increase for the digital as well as the physical edition. And apparently it's not decreasing in the US. So only in Japan, uh, China, Australia, Mexico, Canada, UK, and Europe. And the reason I'm thinking is because if they do, they know they know that they're gonna get negative feedback from everybody. But apparently, what I've been seeing online is that people are apparently defending PlayStation, saying it's a premium product, so it deserves a premium price. Yeah, but it's affecting you as a consumer, so you should fight that. But yet, no other console maker or even Valve's Steam Deck is getting a price increase as well. So why is PlayStation the only one? Because people are allowing that to happen. Because like I said, you could, you could vote with your wallets. Like literally. For us, it's hard enough to get a PlayStation 5. And if you want to get it from a like a third retailer, a scalp or eBay or what have you, it's going to be a lot more expensive. And they're making this even more expensive. That's going to be like, why? Just because... The market? No, that's not how that works. Because nobody else is increasing the prices in those regions as well. Nobody. Nintendo, Microsoft, nobody. So why are you the only exception? Even PC parts aren't getting more expensive. In fact, they're getting cheaper. So why are you the only exception? And people are actually defending that decision? That's not how that works. But yeah, when Xbox increased uh, their actually uh, their subscription service for Xbox Live Gold, people went ballistic. But yet, people are defending PlayStation's uh, decision on this because it's a premium product. No, it's not how that works. You could literally vote with your wallet. And in fact, they're the, they're the only ones that have increased prices on games, even though they need to be more expensive. If, they, if that was the case, they would have been more expensive on... All platforms, whether it be PC, Xbox, Nintendo, or even Microsoft, Xbox. But yet, PlayStation is the only one that has, is charging a $70 game. Like, literally. They're literally the only ones. But yet, people are accepting that for some odd reason. So that does not make any sort of sense to me. But yet, there are... Like, literally, I, I, I always see the scenario. Whenever PlayStation makes a decision, it's fine. People will defend them no matter what. But when anybody else makes a decision, oh, no, P oh, oh, hell will break loose. I'm like, come on. Either you treat everybody the same, or, like, literally, you can't have one opinion about PlayStation, but yet everyone else, you have a different opinion. So, like, why? Like, why? But, yeah. It is what it is, folks. Uh, like I said, we already talked to... We already talked about uh, Microsoft and Nintendo not increasing prices. Alright, so we're going to go into the... The Destiny 2 uh, 2022 Showcase uh, recap as well, coming from Polygon. So we have Bungie did debut its third annual... Oh, it's the third annual thing? Okay, Destiny 2 Showcase uh, on Tuesday, revealing the next year of Destiny content. 2022 Destiny 2 Showcase showed off the game's next major expansion, Lightfall, which is coming February 28th, 2023. And it players will face the power of The Witness. The ultimate big bad introduced at the end of the Witch Queen campaign earlier this year and its army. Lightfall is the 
penultimate expansion in Destiny 2's first major saga, Light and Darkness. The 2024 expansion, The Final Shape, will end the saga and usher forth a new era of Destiny. Budgie has confirmed that Destiny 2 will continue for many years, but not much else is known about what comes next after 2024. But she did also an unveil Destiny's 18th season, Season of the Plunder, which has a fun pirate theme and includes the reprisal of the beloved King's Fall Raid. This is the first time Mojie has revealed a showcase with two full seasons left to go. After Season 18 ends in November, Mojie will launch Season 19 as a prelude to late fall next year. The studio also confirmed that leak over the weekend that Destiny 2 and Fortnite are collaborating with an in-game crossover. Both games will get skins inspired by the other. Destiny 2 is also coming to the Epic Game Store, and all of the MMO's expansions will be free for a week on all platforms to celebrate. Even Fall Guys Ultimate Nako is getting a handful of Destiny-inspired skins. And speaking of uh, crossover, um, we're going to epics for a further detail on when this crossover will begin. So there is a something new in uh, what do you call this? In creative? Where you could input Hold on, let me show you what I'm looking at. Uh, let me see. That's way easier instead of uh, saying all, all those numbers. Uh, let's see. Gaming, window capture. For all you audio listeners, you are definitely missing out if you are unable to join us live. Uh, if you are coming back to ch check out the VOD later on YouTube, as well as Spotify. So here's the, the, the creator code thingy. Or you could play as Legends of the Light and Dark uh, or any outfit. It's uh, more than just a remake on infused a control mode style gameplay. Guardians are familiar with challenging your team to take hold of, of control points. The more points you you score, the that's when you win. <laughs> Commander Zavala is coming to the item shop. Uh, Ikora, uh, Ikora Ray, as well as Evil Stranger. Does it say when they're coming? I believe they, they have a date here somewhere. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, August 23rd. Oh yeah, so they're all available. So you get the skins now. And a f um, an emote. Let's look at it. Oh, the oh wait, hold on. Investigation emote. Okay, I know what that is. It's like a scan thingy. Uh, let's see. It showed me. Let me see something. Hold on. Because it showed me the date when I looked at this earlier. For the Fall Guys uh, release as well. Give me a second. Focus. Let me look into this further. Give me a moment. Uh, Where's the news thingy? News. Okay. Gamescom. I think that's it. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, let's see, we talked about that. Mm. Okay, and you can, for a limited time, you can grab the 30th anniversary pack for free uh, on the Epic Game Store, which ends August 30th at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, let's see, we talked about the skins. And uh, for a Fortnite-themed ornament set will also appear in Destiny 2, making this the first time original Fortnite outfits have appeared in another video game. Uh, does it say a one? Does it say? Uh, oh yeah. 
Destiny 2 and Fall Guys will be available September 17th, including the Titan Hunter and Warlock themed costumes and a new spicy ramen collaboration and other accessories. And we talked about Lightfall already. So if you guys are interested in claiming any of these uh, Destiny Fall uh, skins or even uh, anything else, we are, like I said, we are Epic Partners. So for every purchase you make when you use our credit code to Epic Play, we do get a commission and it's just another way you can go out and support the show. So definitely use the Epic credit code. Alright, what's this? Uh, we have a Google's Alchemy Labs that he's its first multiplayer VR game. Uh, and it's about hand tracking. The studio calls the unnamed uh, multiplayer title their most ambitious project yet. And speaking of uh, Meta, their new VR head, their next VR head has been confirmed for an October release date, uh, which is dubbed Project Cambria. In, uh, in, in October. And apparently it will have a few big features coming from Zuck, uh, Mark himself. Okay, we talked about that. Alrighty, let's see. Alright, so Twitch will now let partners stream on YouTube and Facebook. Coming over from The Verge. The days of Twitch partner exclusivity are, are over. Twitch told the partner streamers in an email uh, that the platform was lifting its long la its long standing exclusive agreement that denied partners' ability to stream on other services. Partners will now be able to stream on YouTube, Facebook Live, and other platforms. Though in some cases, Twitch still limits what they're able to do. St uh, st starting now, you are allowed to create live content and other platforms. Twitch wrote to streamers and email Twitch recognized the streamers use multiple platforms to connect with their communities. And said so this move would grant them greater flexibility to grow those audiences off platform. Content creators can now go live on other platforms as long as they're now also live on Twitch. This allows them to reach a greater breadth of people and potentially big, uh, bring them to life on Twitch. So Twitch, uh, Twitch uh, does not actually you can't simulcast on other platforms over to YouTube or Facebook for extended periods of time. Twitch says that simulcasting to mobile services like TikTok and Instagram Live is allowed. So we might experiment with that as well. All right, uh, we're getting to the next new story. There is a, a story that. Uh, I guess a rumor that I should say, I don't know. It was actually a news article coming from USA Today. That wasn't even from USA Today. It was uh, one of their affiliates, not affiliates, I guess, affiliate partnerships, like this regular gaming, random gaming blog that essentially wrote that article. And I don't even know why these companies do, like do these, uh, do these, uh, Partnerships, if they're not even vetting, not not vetting, just making sure that everything is correct. They have no sources at all. They just put something random, and people saw that as a US Today article because it's on their website, so they assumed, oh, it's genuine. So it was, I guess, rumored that Amazon was going to buy EA, or should I say, Amazon would make an offer to buy EA, but. Uh, Amazon did not make EA, and they both uh, said this is not true and what have you. So, yep, that's about it on that front. 
All right. Uh, and it's now official, folks. Cross the dynamics. Uh, and uh, El Edios Montreal are now owned by Embracer Group. And it's an acquisition from Square Enix. Of, uh, as well as uh, its, its IPs such as Tomb Raider, DXX, Thief and Legacy. Uh, I'm sorry, Thief and Legacy of Kane. Uh, it is, has been officially acquired by the Embracer Group for $300 million. So Crystal Dynamics, Idios Montreal, and Squ even Square Enix Montreal, all part of and then the Embrace It group now. So thank you, Comic Book, for that. All right, so we have some Metaverse news. Like, I have Radio and even the Riddles are now in Fortnite. Well, the first one's coming from iHeart.com, from iHeart directly. Uh... As they have officially launched iHeartland, which is a state of the art always on entertainment space, both using Fortnite's creative toolset. Over the over on the next year, iHeartland will combine music and gaming by giving fans a one-of-a-kind experience by hosting over 20 major events all at the all-new State Farm Park. And we're gonna show you this as well the code so you guys can check this out yourself alrighty there's a little screenshot and there's the code alrighty let's get out of here close this and Doritos Triangle Island is available as well you can discover the Doritos New Triangle Island Hub, explore the island's hidden secrets, and play three unique mini games against fellow Doritos lovers. We'll show you guys this as well. That's weird. Uh, gaming, okay. All right, there's that code. Oh wait, I did. It's hidden. So I got to scroll up a little bit. I forgot about that donation tracker. And there's a little screenshot of that. Okay. So we're done with that. Let's get out of this. Okay. So we're done with your gaming play, folks. Now I'm going to move on to tech. Alrighty, folks, first one we have up is Apple's iPhone 14 launch event that's happening this September 7th, coming from, from The Verge. Apple's next product launch event will take place on September 7th. The company announced in an invitation sent out to journalists at the show, Apple expected to share details on upcoming devices such as the iPhones and the Apple Watches. And yeah, that's literally it. We just have to wait and see for for that event and of course we'll do a recap as well for you folks for everyone so twitter is becoming a podcast app coming over from the verge as well twitter is officially getting into podcast the app will launch a test version of twitter spaces that includes podcasts letting you listen to full shows through curated playlists based on your interest the redesigned spaces tab opened with stations a topic-based playlist combining podcast episodes pulled from RSS with Twitter's social audio events and recordings. It functions like a Pandora station, but for spoken word and is pretty different from the a la carte listening podcast consumers are used to on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Live and upcoming spaces are still in the top. Further down the edge, the, the test will roll out to a random group of users around the world, initially only in English. All right, we just have to wait and see. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll be one of those test subjects as well. Speaking of Twitter, we have an update on the Twitter versus Elon Musk coming from The Verge as well. After a hearing on discovery requests from lawyers representing both Elon Musk and Twitter, Judge Kathleen McGormick gave a firm no to the Musk team's absurdly broad 
uh, request in favor of a much smaller set of information. However, twi however, Twitter must hand over some additional data relating to how we calculate the monetizable daily active users or MDAU statistic and its associated bot activity estimate that Musk argues is fraudulent. Musk lawyers wanted all of the data Twitter might possibly store for each of the approximately 200 million accounts, including its MDAU count every day for nearly three years, covering trillions of data points, McCormick wrote in her ruling. Plaintiff Twitter has, has difficulty quantifying the burden of responding to that request because no one in their right mind has ever tried to undertake such an effort. It suffices to say plaintiff has demonstrated that such a request is overly burdensome. The two sides are facing off as they pursue information to support their respective arguments about whether Musk should be able to get off his agreement to buy Twitter for $44 billion for the trial is scheduled to start on October 17th. So Twitter must over must hand over over 9,000 accounts and reviewed for its audit in its first quarter of 2021. McComer ruled additionally, Twitter is required to give Musk's team information about how those 9,000 accounts came to be selected for its review. Twitter's team said yes, uh, said that it would take about two weeks to collect that data. They will also need to hand over a small additional set of data from an interview basis, documents reflecting the discussion of any, of any other key metrics identified by defendants, regardless of whether those documents were expressly address MDAU, McCormick did wrote. In addition, the Dutch partly agreed to Twitter's request for documents from Musk, side as Twitter pursues information on data analysis. And I guess we're not going to go into this further. I guess that's, I, 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 that's exactly it. So we'll update you on that matter as well. So NVIDIA did announce its next generation GPU architecture in September amid its RTX 4090 rumors coming from The Verge. So NVIDIA is now expected to detail its Lovelace GPU arch architecture at GTC 2022 in September with CEO Jensen Huang hitting at an announced during the company's recent earnings call. Dubbed the 40 series GPU. So we have to wait and see on that front. And, and uh, they did, uh, apparently, according to another, uh, another thing, uh, another article on the verge, that they have an over inventory on their on their GPU side, so they actually, uh, they have an absurd amount of inventory, which a lot, which a lot more than they expected. So expect a price drop on a lot of GPUs from Nvidia. All right, moving next, we have a new gaming monitor from Corsair that bends into a curved display, which is the for the world's first 45 inch 21 by nine bendable OLED gaming display. which is uh, a W OLED model from LG Display. So we're gonna get into this uh, reveal in a bit. All right. All right, let's get into it, folks. And the rules changing the game, and you would manually bend it as well, bend it and unbend it at your leisure. But that looks good. That looks really good. Like whoa! Ah, just look at that white screen, forty-five inch. Like whoa! <laughs> I'm in love. Sheesh. All right, we're done with that. And Hybrex is now getting into the monitor game. It's expanding its monitors with the announcement of two models designed for gamers who want a minimal uh, LISC desk setup. 
And the uh, unique thing is that they include a desk mount and a versatile monitor on which you customize how exactly how you want to arrange that minor desk, which is a 25 inch 1080p Armada 25 and a 27 inch QHD Armada 27, which are coming in September and are going for 449 and 499 respectively. The Armada 25 does support a faster 20, 240 hertz refresh rate compared to the Armada 27 with 165 hertz refresh rate. The Armada 27 features a Visa display HDR 400, and the 25 doesn't support display HDR 400. Both monitors have decent color accuracy for the price. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah. And they're also making their monitor mounts available for purchase separately as well. All right, moving on. We have Facebook is apparently building a customer service group. Finally. Finally, a long last. Something we needed for years. A customer service division to help users of social networks who have had posts or accounts removed unexpectedly. It's apparently in the early stages, and it will take on higher priority thanks to feedback has gone from the oversight board, which was uh, which is an independent body that was set up back in 2020. So a long last, finally get that soon. Speaking of, uh, excuse me, Facebook, uh, you can now link your Quest or VR, or Meta VR headset now. Uh, known as the quite of uh, the quest no the meta vr headset you can now create a meta account so you don't have to link your facebook account for those who didn't want to go out and purchase the new devices because of the facebook linking now you don't have to all right we're done with your tech play now we're gonna move on to entertainment Alrighty, folks, so now we have Anna Hathaway will star in a new film adaptation of Harry Styles' fan fiction, The Idea of You, coming from Entertainment Weekly. Which, uh, the popular book inspired by the former One Director member, The Idea of, the idea of You. And according to her character profile, Sophie is a 40-year-old divorced mother whose husband left her for a younger woman. After he cancels a trip with their 15-year-old daughter to Coachella, Sophie steps in to save the weekend, bra braving the crowd and desert heat. But soon she meets 24-year-old Hayes Campbell, the lead singer of the hottest boy band on the planet, and her weekend trip turns into a whirlwind life-changing romance. Oops, okay, we're done with that. Uh, now we have a, Bi a Bioshock, which, which is a live-action feature from adaptation of the renowned video game franchise will be directed by Francis Lawrence, which is uh, from I Am Legend, Hunter Games, Catch a Fire, and what have you. Uh, speaking of Netflix, uh, are you... The Umbrella Academy. Uh, is getting its fourth and final season. Coming over from Netflix. So this is coming from uh, IGN. One division director will uh, drop the Star Trek to take over the Fantastic Four movie. The 47-year-old filmmaker helped Marvel launch its MCU offerings on Disney+, Plus, and now it looks as though he's bringing Marvel's first family to the big screen. And according to Deadline, Shaq Man is in an early talks to direct the upcoming Fantastic Four movie, with the rumors suggesting he might board the upcoming reboot for several weeks. So we have to wait and see. Hopefully, it'll, it'll, it'll finally be good and successful. Alrighty. Uh, so we have the Umbrella Academy writer, director, and executive producer Steve Blackman has 
Min has extended his creative partnership with Netflix, and now his next project will be to adapt the global interactive gaming phenomenon known as Horizon Zero Dawn, as well as an original concept called Orbital. All right, and speaking of Sony, uh, Sony is producing a Gravity Russian movie covering over game industry that biz. And Scott Free Productions has, did, has begun the uh, development of the movie based on Gravity Rush. Uh, okay, Emily Jerome, which is the producer of Panopticon, is working on the script. Anna Mastro, who has worked on Shameless and The Bold Type, is to direct the film. But it's currently unknown if PlayStation Production will distribute the movie. Alright, the boys uh, did add Jeffrey Dean Morgan to the cast for season 4. And apparently DC did find their Kevin Feige. Uh, producer Dan... Lynn is in talks to take control of film, TV for superhero for the superhero arm. Uh, coming over from multiple sources uh, via the Hollywood Reporter, the role would come as overseeing not just film but television as well. With Lynn reporting directly to Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav, according to its sources. So we just have to wait and see. So we have Godzilla, uh, Godzilla and Kong are teaming up with their next big movie. Coming over from IGN. Warner Brothers Pictures and Legendary Pictures have announced. After two times clash of 2022's Godzilla vs. Kong, the studio says that the two giant monsters will fight a colossal, undiscovered threat headed within our world, challenging the very existence of our own. The movie will explore how the mysterious titans came to be by diving into the ancient histories and uncovering the legendary battle that created them and forever linked them to humans. Adam Winger will direct the film. And uh, for, as well as for cast members, we have Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree Henry, and Kaylee Hardy. They will, they, will, they will be joined by new cast members Dan Stevens, Fela Chan, Alex Ferns, and Rachel House. Screenwriters are Terry, Har Terry Rossio, Jeremy Slater, and Seymour Barrett. And it will also be shot in Queensland, Australia. Speaking of Kong, King Kong, a TV series, is coming to Disney+. Plus, According to a new report from Deadline. That reports that Disney branded television is now in the very early development on an original story about the iconic ape. And we have a new Last of Us remake launch trailer. Uh, that was revealed. Netflix is canceling a re its Resident Evil series after just one season. So, uh, according to a report from Deadline. Oh, that sucked. It didn't do too well. So, we're done with your entertainment play. Now, we'll move on to sports after this. Alrighty, folks. So, we have our regular sports stories are all coming from CBS Sports. Just a heads up. So the LA Rams are adding some experience to the staff as head coach Sean McVay told reporters Thursday that the team was hiring Jay Gruden as a consultant for the Athletic. Gruden took the 2021 season off from coaching, but recently served as the offensive coordinator co 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 for the Jacksonville Jaguars back in 2020. Alrighty. Uh -huh. Let's see. We have Kyrie Irving. The shooting speculations have ceased for now, but that doesn't mean that the Los Angeles Lakers point guard drama has come to an end. On Thursday, the Lakers acquired veteran defensive pest Patrick Beverly, leading to speculation about the status of belingering nine-time All-Star Russell 
uh, Westbrook moving forward. So, there are, according to the Athletics, Joven Buya, Westbrook could either be traded or simply sent away from the team. According to a source that is close to, the, to, to what's going on. So, we have UFC 279. It's head, it will be headlined by two of the uh, promotion's most beloved fighters, Nate Diaz and Hamzat Chima, Chima, Chimaev. Uh, it's set for September 10th at the T-Mobile, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. So other notable fighters on the card include lightweight, heavyweight, Johnny Walker will be taking on Ian Q. Talama, Talaba. And so for, for the women's uh, bottom weights, we have Irene Aldana and Macy Chiasan are set to collide. We have also Chris Barnett also on the card. Uh, so that's it for the highlights of that. We have 2022 Tour Champion Cheap uh, Chips. Uh, we have it all comes down, down to the best players of the PGA Tour. 29 of them will continue playing Friday in the second round of the 2022 Tour Championship, typically meant for the top 30 players in the FedEx Cup. Uh, let's see, we have world number one Scotty Skeffler began the week atop the leaderboards at 10 under and increased his advantage throughout the first 18 holes shooting 5 under on Thursday to lead the fight to lead the field by as many as by as many strokes reigning PGA reigning PGA Tour of the year and defending FedEx Cup champion Patrick Catley sat to back of Scheffler entering the week but now stands 7 behind Scheffler after shooting an, an even par 70 in his first round. All right, we're done on that. We have the Major League Baseball will send a team of stars to South Korea to play a series of exhibition games in November. The Korean baseball organization did announce on Friday and see according to the Yonhap news agency KBO with host MLB players for four games in what is being called the MLB World Tour Korean Series to celebrate KBO's 40th anniversary. The game will be played in mid-November after the World Series. And but I mean, we did send a team of stars to Japan for what is called the MLB Japan All Star Series a few years ago. Back in, uh, every, ha, has been sending every, uh, people every few years since 1986. All right, so we're done on that front. Boston Red uh, Boston Red Sox left. Hander, James Baxton will not pitch the season after suffering grade 2 lat tear during a minor league rehab start last week. The team announced Thursday uh, Paxton has not pitched in any MLB game since late last April and will, uh, was close to competing his Tommy John surgery rehab when he suffered a new lat surgery. So may he have a safe recovery. So we have the 2022 NBA playoffs. Wrapped up Wednesday night as the Connecticut Sun completely shut down the Dallas Wings offense and route to a 73-58 win in the deciding Game 3. With the victory, Sun clinched a fourth consecutive semifinal appearance where they will face the defending champion Chicago Sky in the other semifinal. The number one overall seed, Las Vegas Aces, will take on the Seattle Storm. Those teams will swap each first round matchups. So now, now that we're into sports, we have a new subcategory of sports, esports. So we have those Angels Gorillas reveal its 2023 CDL roster. Will be the first team to do so. We have Alec. 
Alec Sanderson, or known as otherwise known as Arc Cities, uh, Hugh Garland, Chris, no Hugh Garland, Chris Bart, Chris Bart, Carvantes, and Travis Neptune McLeod. We have ESL One Malaysia Twenty Twenty Two. Will run from twenty third from August twenty third to twenty eighth, and the Domino of Stars at the Resort World Genting. A total of 20, twelve teams will compete for the lion's share of the four hundred thousand dollar US dollar prize pool at the event. We have uh, the playoffs. I guess our starting is the double elimination playoffs bracket. All series are BO3 except for the grand finals. And let's see. T27. Yeah, okay. Let me see. So let me go into the updated uh, thing in my jiggy. Search. Okay. See if it's been up if it's been updated. Uh twenty four. Okay, so we have OG did de defeat Thunder Awaken uh, to 1-0. We have Team Aster will take on Team Secret, and Fnatic will take on an undetermined team. As well for the finals, will take place August 28th, uh, 12 p.m. as local time and 4.35 local time for the second match. Okay. I'm done with that. We have the LCS Championship 2022 uh, kicked off on August 20th and will conclude on September 12th. The event will crown one winner and the top three teams will be sent to Worlds 2022. Uh, the LCS Championship 2022 is a double elimination bracket with the existing best of five series and the culmination of the event will take place in Chicago, Illinois. And the event will see the crowning of the best North American team at the season of stage in Chicago after a showdown on 10th and the 11th of September. Uh, the format is the top eight teams from the summer season uh Participant, the two, the top two teams start in round two of the upper bracket. Round one, we have the upper bracket. The third seed plays the sixth seed, while the fourth seed plays the fifth seed. The number one seed chooses to play against either potential winner of third versus sixth or fourth versus fifth before the championship starts. The seventh and eighth seed team starts in round one of the lower bracket. The LCS championship is a double elimination bracket. Matches are best of five, and the top three teams qualify for the 2022 season world championship. As far as for the teams format, we have top eight teams in North America who qualify for the championship. Are in, are we have the Evil, Geni Evil Geniuses, Hundred Thieves, Team Liquid, Counter Logic Gaming, Cloud Nine, Fly Nine Quest, Team Solo Mid, Golden uh, Guardians, uh, and yeah. So we have. The schedule, uh, we have Team Liquid versus FlyQuest will take place. Okay, I oh don't know. They they're already, they're already played. So we have, let's see. We'll go into the newer, newer matches. So we have 
GG versus Cloud Gaming will take place. We don't have a score. Well, it's, it's currently t it's taking place now. Uh, we don't have a winner yet or a score. Uh, we have 100 Thieves and Team Liquid will take place uh, at 10 p.m. local time. As well as EG and Cloud9 at 10 p.m. local time. So the lower bracket is to be determined. We have to wait on that on the upper bracket to finish up. We have to wait and see. And now we have uh, 8 bit thug and local announced an Apex uh, Legends Mobile Thug Invitational coming from AFK Gaming. It will take place from August 26th to the 28th, so it's taking place now. 16 content creators have been invited to be a part of the event, which will be, which will be streamed on local. The upcoming TEC event will feature a prize pool of, uh, I guess, Indian rubies, uh, 20, uh, 2 million, 50,000? No. Or, yeah, 2.5 locks. Or 3100 US dollars. The event will be streamed on the esports uh, channel on Loco, which is the official broadcast partner for the tournament. Uh, let's see. So, but this, the participants are Naman, Mortal, Mathal, Payal, Dahar, Sidhant, Sid Joshi, Kashivi, Harandani, Salman, Mamba Ahmad Parv Ragalto Singh Aman Jain Yash Viper Sony. I'm sorry if I, if I botched any of these names. We have Grotika Ojha and Kita uh, Shatan Mem. Rinmoy, Mercy, Lakar, Tux, no, no, oh, I'm sorry, Dux, Dux, Mafia, Garg, da, Devdeep, Zafar, Dak, Kamal, Aksu, Kamar, Monika, Sherlock, Jeff, Methal, Bix, J, Nayak. All right. So we're done with sports, folks. Now move on to music. All right, folks. So Offset has reportedly filed a lawsuit against Migos' longtime label, Quality Control, according to the legal documents uh, obtained by TMZ on Wednesday. The Offset. Uh, claims that QC didn't honor the terms of a deal they made back in January of 2021 regarding his solo career at the time. The Georgia native worked out his solo career, which he had with Motown Records since his 2019 album, Father of Four. So we have to wait and see. Uh, all right, so we have Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck just celebrate their wedding ceremony here in Georgia, in Savannah, uh, on August 21st. But they were officially married last month in Las Vegas. So we have, uh, Speaking of Quavo, uh, he's hitting the the big screen. The, uh, let's see, and he will star in an upcoming action thriller called Takeover alongside Titanic actor Billy Zane. And the rapper will star as Guy Miller, a former criminal in Atlanta, Georgia, who's in the process of trying to get his life back on track. Uh, speaking of uh, theoretical debuts, Fat Joe uh, is making his uh, is taking the stage this fall in a one minute show inspired by his upcoming memoir that details the craziest moments of his life and career. 
I will open with a rare uh, introduction from a special guest, Dave, Dave Chappelle. And will feature personal interviews from Joe's family and friends and other celebrity friends throughout the show's run. The weekend sold out Las Vegas show and is after hours uh, till dawn to our, uh, were treated to a brand new teaser trailer for his upcoming HBO Max series, The Idol. On August 20th, uh, uh, show at Alagan Stadium, the singer debuted a never before seen trailer for releasing a YouTube hours later. So the the show cast includes Lil Lil Rose Depp, Lil Susanna Sun, Troya Savan, Moses Sumney, Jane Adams, then Levy, Jenny Ruby, Jane of Blackpink, Lee Roth, Rachi Sanat, Harry Neff, Devon, Joy Randolph, Mike Dean, Ramby, and Hank Azaria. And hopefully, speaking of the weekend, hopefully, we're trying, like, our, our, one of our goals is to have him on the show. So, if you guys want him to be interviewed here on the Impact Play, tag, tag, tag us and tag the weekend and let him know. Let everyone know that you want him here on the Impact Play. On social, on Twitter, on Instagram, wherever. Justin Timberlake is set to perform at a gala to support the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. The event is set for uh, Saturday, October 8th at the uh, Barker Hangar in Santa Monica, California. Film star Chris Pine and his father, veteran TV actor Robert Pine, will also co-host the gala. The black tie event will kick off with third carpet arrivals at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, followed by a cocktail reception and dinner scheduled to end by 10 p.m. local. Mm, excuse me. Sheesh. Mm. Doja Cat's new merch collection. It's Giving is now publicly available to shop from It's Giving website.com. So it's actually It's Giving website.com. <laughs> it's like so weird. So we'll actually view it and show you guys live now. Live on stream. Alright, da -da 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 -da. window capture, change it to this, alrighty. Oh, these are all, this is all it, focus the T's, starting at $35. That's a physical line, we got hoodies, sweatpants, shorts, trucker, cat, trucker hats. Socks, G-strings, tote bags, stickers, and that's literally it. If you guys want some merch to support the show, you can. Uh, let me grab the website real quick. Let me see if it's over here, actually. Hold on. Before I look into it. Uh, no, I have to update that. Okay, that's not the right one. Uh, give me one second, folks. All right, I gotta get out of here first, and then go back to here. All right. Um. Hmm. Where is that website? I'll grab it for you momentarily. Na -na -na, na -na -na. Is it? No, it's not it. I know it's not it. Uh, let's see. I know that got updated. Really? It's weird. Is it that one? Let me take a look. I know I updated it on our YouTube channel, so let's go there. Okay, your channel about um, merch. Where are you? Hmm, I guess it's not there. Okay. 
Okay, and then say I'm going to our Twitch channel. This is driving me nuts. Uh, let's see, what are you? I swear I changed all that. Merch, merch, merch. I know it. Yeah, it's on. T it's on T Public. So this is the correct <laughs> website. So we moved from stream elements to them due to the being have much better support. That's why I'd rather not support them because their support literally sucks to customers. Like literally. So we're going to have to update that stream elements. We'll go to the dashboard. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, check commands. Let's see, follow, oh no, we have to go to custom. Merch. Uh. Okay, and save. Now we're gonna do that again, just to test it. Oh no, that was the score. Uh, Oops, I put Mark. <laughs> that's funny. Yep, that's it. Let's make sure that works. Yep. All right, so that's it, folks. We got our merch if you guys want to support us. All righty. Uh, let's see. Okay. We'll do that as well. Okay. Yeah, let's update this here. Publish. Yeah, let me see. About. Yep, it's there. It's been updated. Okay. All right. Sorry about all that, folks. But let's keep moving on, moving on. Okay, where was I? We talked about Dodge Cat's merch. And we got distracted by our merch. <laughs> so now we have DJ Khaled's God Did album is out now. And it features Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, John Legend, Charles Scott, City Girls, and more. We have uh, Britney Spears and Elton John's. A single, Hold Me Closer, is out now. Uh, Lil TJ did release a new single, Beat the Odds, two months after being shot in an attempted robbery.
Rima and Selena's Gomez collab, Calm Down, is here as well. Twice's Between 1 and 2 album has arrived. We have BTS uh, is teasing a RM16 Nukem song collab with rising star K-pop group Bombing Tiger. The collab will arrive September 1st. We have Nicki Minaj did release a, her Queen Radio Volume 1 album. And she did it via a Twitter post. Uh, yesterday. All right. So we have the top. Wait, hold on. Let me see. We're talking about that. I'm going to move that here. All right. So we have Quavo and Takeoff team with Birdman for their new song, Big Stunna. It's available now, released uh, August 26th. We have Stam Smith that confirmed a new collab with Kim Patras is on the way. And that's all we have. And the top five of the, of the Billboard's top 100 chart as of this week. And we have Super Freaky Girl as at number one by Nicki Minaj. As it was is at number two by Harry Styles. Number three, About That Time by Lizzo. Break My Soul is at number four by Beyonce. And number five is at Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush. So we're done with all the new segment folks if you guys are interested in sending us for email to be featured on our special radio segment or even our our special episode here's how you can contact us you want to know your feedback your thoughts if you have any questions you may have for us if sending us for email on our discord server leaving a voice note over at anchor.fm backslash 10 back play or even by sending us an email to readymail at the mmplay.com who knows may even be featured on a future episode or even a special read one segment of the show. Thank you guys so much for making us a part of your day. If you wish to join our community server, be sure to enter exclamation Discord and chat now. You guys are uh guys we trying to, uh, to, uh, to we are trying to unlock subs over on Twitch and we need your help. Share the channel, follow us, lurk if you must, because every little bit helps us achieve that goal even further. We've been bashing goals left and further. We we are nearing 40k views over on over on YouTube, and literally the only thing that has been straying away from us is the Twitch goal. So is uh, is all uh, the subs over on Twitch? And guys, leave us a review. We used to already get from the platform. Thank you guys so much for all of you tier two supporters over. Uh, we'll see you on the exclusive post show. For everyone else, have a good one.